Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we bring you a tragic update from Baltimore, where the Francis Scott Key Bridge, a vital artery for the region, has collapsed in a catastrophic event early Tuesday morning. A container ship, the Singapore-flagged Dolly, collided with a support column after losing power, leading to a significant portion of the bridge plummeting into the Patapsco River below. This incident has resulted in multiple vehicles and individuals being thrown into the water, sparking a massive search and rescue operation. Stay with us as we delve into the details of this tragedy, the ongoing rescue efforts, and the broader implications for the Baltimore area and beyond. The collapse occurred when the Dolly, operating under charter by Synergy Group and carrying Myers customers' cargo, experienced a power loss and struck a column of the bridge. This collision sent vehicles, including a large tractor trailer and a construction crew working on the bridge into the river below. Six individuals from the construction crew remain unaccounted for, while two others have been rescued, with one currently in serious condition at the University of Maryland Medical Center. The immediate aftermath has seen an outpouring of support and emergency response. Maryland Governor Wes Moore declared a state of emergency, highlighting the quick deployment of federal resources and the brave efforts of the rescue teams. Baltimore's emergency services, along with the Coast Guard and the FBI, are actively involved in search and rescue operations. Despite the tragic circumstances, the swift action following a May Day call has been credited with preventing further loss of life. As the community reels from this event, the focus remains squarely on the search and rescue efforts. Maryland's Department of Transportation, along with federal agencies, is investigating the cause of the power outage that led to the collision. Shipping through the port of Baltimore has been halted, affecting one of the East Coast's major shipping hubs and disrupting economic activities tied to the port.